Universal Audio's name is written into recording history thanks to Bill Putnam's legendary hardware designs, including classics such as the 1176 compressor. Alongside its proud hardware tradition, Universal Audio have developed an equally impressive collection of software plugins, known as UAD powered plugins. UAD plugins are among the most coveted available, but it's the unique combination of hardware and software at the heart of Universal Audio's interfaces which has attracted so many top producers, songwriters and composers. Through the following six videos we're going to show you how Universal Audio's interfaces and plugins can support and guide each stage of the production process, from recording, through mixing, to mastering. We're here at the legendary Real World Studios to begin that journey. In this first video, we're going to look at making recordings with the Apollo interface, exploring how Unison technology can provide a classic studio sound when hardware and software combine. For today's vocal recording, we're using the Apollo 8P interface, which features eight Unison mic preamps. We'll find out more about Unison soon. Connection between the Apollo 8P and a computer is via a single Thunderbolt cable, and because the DSP is handled within the Apollo itself, we can record and monitor with near zero latency. Once the microphone connection is made, we can use UA's console software to set up our recording channel. Console, as its name suggests, provides a virtual mixing desk style graphical interface to provide a bridge between your computer and your Apollo interface. In overview mode, we can see every channel available through the Apollo with analog and digital input and output channels. To configure our microphone, it's just as easy to change our view to input, where we can configure the recording channel we need. This is where Unison technology comes to the fore. Through UAD's unique digital control of the analog circuitry, combined with precision modeling, we can track through some of the most coveted channels and microphone preamps of all time. Classic API, Neve, and Manly channels are available, as is UA's own 610 channel strip. Rather than simply acting as a regular insert effect, Unison preamps completely take over the analog input stage, emulating gain and impedance behaviors with the sound and color of the original hardware on which each preamp is based. You can see that as I select my chosen preamp in this top section within the console software, the channel strip turns orange, which is reflected on the hardware itself. This is the relationship between hardware and software beginning to work its magic. I can use the hardware input to control gain or the software interface to make physical changes to Apollo. It's worth remembering that depending on the preamp you choose, you may well find yourself with more headroom than a standard digitally controlled preamp, which again emulates the classic design of the original hardware on which these preamps are modeled. We're using the Manly Voxbox channel strip, which provides four modules to help configure a great sounding vocal take. We've got the tube emulated preamp section over here on the left before a compressor stage lets us control dynamics. If sibilance is an issue, there's a built-in de at the top before a pull tech style EQ lets you shape tone to sweeten and boost high and low frequencies whilst attenuating the mid band if needed. Console lets us go much further than simply setting up a unison preamp channel. Let's give our vocalist some monitor reverb using internal routing to feed some signal into the Lexicon 224 plate reverb emulation on auxiliary one. This will give her a little space in which to sing while she's working through her vocal. You can select the auxiliary channels over here on the right of console, adding the reverb plugin we want on the first insert slot. And then we can adjust its volume down here with the fader at the bottom. If we wanted to, we can even record this reverb into the door as a separate track if we wanted to use it at the mix stage. Speaking of inserts, let's also set up a little extra compression at the tracking stage to bring the sound of a classic compressor to the recording process. Via the insert tab on the left here, we can set up the 1176 compressor. This can be used as an insert effect on our vocal channel. Console allows us to decide whether we want to print the vocal with this effect included or whether to simply monitor through it, recording the microphone through the unison preamp but bypassing any other effect at the recording stage. If a mix is still taking shape, 
Just monitoring your effects without committing to them at this stage can be a great option. But if you're recording vocals near the end of the production process, capturing a vocal with a chain configured during the recording session can often yield a natural result. Remember though, that with Apollo and UAD, these same plugins are going to be available again at the mix stage. We've got a signal which is giving our singer everything she needs to record a great take, but we're going to elect to record without insert effects at this point so that we can keep our options open for the mix stage. Keep in mind that unison processing is always committed as part of the recording process, just as it would be if we were working with an analog hardware recording channel. This goes to the heart of the hybrid, analog, digital nature of unison. You always take the best of me Always leave the rest of me You always take the best of me You always leave the rest of me So we've seen that with Unison preamps, we can capture a recording with the sound of vintage hardware from class-leading manufacturers. And with console, we can configure a recording environment perfect for a singer, deciding whether or not we want to include the sound of insert effects at the recording stage or not. In the next video, we're going to add guitars to this project. Mm -hmm.